My friends say that I'm competitive. I don't see it. I just don't like getting beat. I mean, yeah, I've fished and won bass tournaments, marlin tournaments, tarpon tournaments, but I'm a fishing guide. I don't have to beat every boat out here, every boat on the water, all the other guides. I don't have to beat them, but yeah, I really do like to. Sure, yeah, I've won marlin tournaments, I've won bass tournaments, I've won tarpon tournaments, but that's not my job. I fish tournaments for fun. I love the competition, but that's not my job. Guiding is my job. Taking people out who don't fish as much as I fish and teach them how to fish. And most of the time, I end up hooking the fish for them, and that's what I love. Hooking a fish and handing the rod to them, hooking another fish and another fish and another fish, and hooking as many fish as we can get. But no, no, that's not competitive. It's not competitive knowing that I don't sleep at night if I wasn't the top boat on the Pamlico Sound that day. And that's what I want to do every day is to be the top boat, whether it's for fun in a tournament. Was that a bite? No, but they're coming. They're coming. Whether it's in a tournament or just another day at the office, I want to be the top hooker. So the other day I had this girl on the boat, she, she was 12, Anna, and she caught this big giant red drum, and it was a big male, and it was drumming, and it was running real heavy, which means it was spawning, and it's in her lap, and she looks at her dad, and she says, Dad, what's all this white stuff on my legs? And he explained to her, and she started crying, she said, Daddy, get it off of me, I don't want to get pregnant! You know, that's the frustrating thing about fishing. Sometimes they just won't bite, and that's the challenge. Whether you're in a tournament competing against everybody else, or whether you're just trying to catch fish for your customers, the challenge is trying to figure out why they won't bite. That's why I went to school, got a degree in marine biology, hoping that I could take everything I could learn and apply it to catching more fish. Fishing is not always pretty. Sometimes it's dirty. Sometimes you gotta get dirty and squeeze the guts out of your bait and create a nice chum slick because if you chum long enough, they will come. Keep putting the bait out there. I'm okay with catching fish on fly rods and lures, but fishing with meat, fishing with what they eat, that's the way to really get them. Nope. There we go. I got him. Very cool. This is a cannonball jellyfish. I think I, I don't know what the scientific name for it is, but it's a jellyfish that doesn't have any stingers. This red part, that's an algae that lives in the jellyfish. So they've kind of evolved together where the jellyfish just gives the algae a home, a home to live in, and the jellyfish keeps it up close to the surface where the algae can photosynthesize and make food for the jellyfish. So, and you know, fish eat these also. Turtles eat them, and spade fish, they're really good spade fish bait. But uh, since there are not many spade fish out here in the Pamlico Sound, we're gonna go ahead and let this guy go. And he'll swim off and maybe get eaten by a turtle. There we go, come on, come on, come on. We might even feed you to a red drum. Yeah, there we go. Don't bite me, don't bite me, oh, don't bite me. I'm not gonna squash you, no worries. There we go. This is a blue crab. I do know the scientific name of this one, Callinectus sapidus. It means beautiful swimmer. And this is a male. You can see he's got the Washington Monument on his belly. The females have the Capitol building. And this dog will bite you. I mean, they hurt really, really bad. You can hold them right back here by the swimmer fin, but don't grab them anywhere else because they'll get you. And being that we got plenty of bait, I'm actually going to let this guy go. Ready, buddy? Go find us a drum. <laughs> 